Imagine that you find a secret door cut into the side of a rock. Inside, a whole city lives and breathes under your feet. There are streets that wind through huge holes, homes that are built into rock walls, and light that comes through cracks like secrets being whispered. A world underground where the past echoes through forgotten tunnels, and the ground beneath our feet hides a complex network of rooms and passages that tell stories of societies that have been forgotten by history. The earthquakes woke people up to the discovery of these strange underground towns, which has sparked a frenzy of exploring and discussion. First up, we will talk about Derinkyu, Turkey. Imagine for a moment a massive subterranean metropolis constructed out of volcanic rock that has the capacity to accommodate 20,000 people. During the reign of the Phrygians, circa 1900 BC, an incredible architectural achievement known as Derinkyu was constructed. It is possible to descend to a depth of 280 feet below the surface of Cappadocia by way of 18 levels of tunnels and chambers that are all connected to one another and illuminated by air shafts that have been strategically placed in the appropriate locations. Be impressed by the ingenious way in which the city was constructed. Stone walls and airflow channels may be found in the residences that are located along the tunnels. There are stables, storage spaces, and even a vineyard that provides services to the residents of the area. In order to ensure that people are able to continue living, a complicated technique of collecting water from a natural spring is used. The fact that the city was subsequently utilized by Christians from Byzantium is shown by the fact that there is a hidden church that is adorned with crosses and other Christian symbols. It was the earthquake that occurred in 1963 that opened up new areas of Derinkyu, demonstrating how large and difficult it is. Archaeologists and visitors alike continue to be captivated by this subterranean labyrinth, which recounts the tales of civilization that existed under the surface of the world. Next, we'll talk about Upper Sleek, Georgia. With the sandstone cliffs of eastern Georgia, Upper Sleek was cut into the rocks hundreds of years before Derinkyu made its appearance. Construction began sometime about the 7th century BC. Consider what it would be like to live in a city that was carved directly into the side of a rock. Each and every structure, including homes, churches, and even a cemetery, would be completely integrated into the natural landscape. The Plissiki was a significant location for commerce and religious practice for more than 2,000 years. It saw the emergence and fall of a great number of powers. Explore the remains of a temple dedicated to Mithras, the sun deity. Stroll through the halls of a Zoroastrian cemetery and ascend the steps to a Christian church. All of these attractions may be found on top of the cliffs. Over the course of its history, earthquakes have caused some sections of Viplasik to crumble and break apart. The city takes on an air of mystique and excitement as a result of this. Imagine the sounds of long-forgotten rites reverberating off the walls of the tunnel, or envision vendors haggling over the pricing of their wares in marketplaces that were active in the past but are now silent. The Upless Sleek Monument is a testament to the inventiveness and vitality of individuals who lived in the past. Now we will discuss Vardzir, Georgia. The Arasheti Mountains encircle this settlement, which is carved into the living rock and is surrounded by itself. A treasure from the Middle Ages, it is a jewel. During the 1100s, King Georgi Ali and his daughter, Queen Tamar, came up with the concept of a one-of-a-kind monastic complex that would serve as a secure stronghold against Mongol assaults. The end product is a stunning labyrinth consisting of 13 levels with chapels, living areas, and storage chambers that are all carved into the face of the cliff structure. You will notice that the walls of the Monastery of the Dormition are covered with vivid murals that depict events from the Bible as soon as you enter the building. Think about the monks who used to reside in this area as you make your way through the narrow passageways that are illuminated by oil lights that move. Astound yourself with the ingenious way in which the water supply system conducts mountain streams in order to provide food for the people that live there. Despite the fact that an earthquake occurred in 1911, Varnzio is still a stunning example of the cave architecture that was prevalent throughout the medieval period. Those who are interested in Georgia's ancient history should make it a point to visit this location because of its tranquil environment and fascinating past. Next city on our list is Petra, Jordan. 
Even if the city of Petra in Jordan, which is of a rose-colored hue, is not technically a subterranean city, it is nonetheless worthy of being included. Petra was most likely sculpted out of the sandstone cliffs by the Nabataeans about the second century BC. There are a lot of fascinating mysteries hidden between its towering walls and meandering passages. Take a step into the Sick, which is a tiny tunnel that leads into the treasury, which is a massive structure that is dug directly into the side of a cliff. Make sure you check out the hidden chambers that are located behind the treasury. These rooms can only be accessed via a fracture in the granite that is almost hard to see. The monastery, which is situated at a great height above the valley level, may be reached by ascending a total of 800 stairs. As a result of earthquakes, the rocks of Petra have been worn away, which has given fresh knowledge about the design and engineering techniques that were used. Imagine how meticulously talented stonemasons from Nabataean civilization sculpted magnificent structures, leaving behind a legacy that continues to astound and amaze people even when they are alive today. Lastly, we will discuss Napa Valley, California. As far back as the 4th century after the Common Era, Napa Valley has a history. Behind the undulating hills and the verdant vineyards is where you will find it. Archaeologists have discovered a vast network of subterranean tunnels and apartments that they have referred to as pit houses. The inhabitants of Wapo use them for the purposes of storage and protection. If you were to walk down into these clay chambers in the heat of summer, you would find that they are chilly and wet. Imagine a situation in which Wapo households store nuts and other food items in a manner that protects them from the impact of the elements and any potential adversaries. It is possible to see how early Californians lived and how they interacted with the land via the use of these modest constructions. These towns demonstrate that inventiveness and tenacity may be discovered in the most unexpected of locations, despite the fact that they are not as large as the other towns on this list. While sitting around the flickering fires in these clay chambers, the Wapo people have shared tales with one another over the course of many years. Think about the stories they have recounted. It is important to note that each of these five subterranean villages is unique and fascinating in its own way. They demonstrate the inventiveness and tenacity of individuals who lived in the past. The tales of individuals who lived in the past are told in a variety of locations, including the subterranean towns of Durinkyu and Uplasik, the hidden chambers of Petra, and the humble pithouses of Napa Valley. Every new discovery serves as a reminder that the things we know about history are continually evolving and that there are still a great deal of mysteries that have yet to be discovered. So, which city piques your curiosity the most? To let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more journeys into the unknown.